In this demo, I will show you how Fortism built-in machine learning model to detect user logon anomaly with the help of bipartite graph edge algorithm. Before I begin, I can explain what an anomaly is. In this example, we have two different sets, users and workstations. User Bob have access to workstation 2 and 4. User Judy have access to workstation 1. User John have access to workstation 3 and 4. User Allies have access to workstation 2. This is the normal pattern detected in the day-to-day -day life of these users. However, all the sudden, user Bob tries to access the workstation 1. It's very unusual and considered as anomaly. So, finding the pattern of anomalies in a larger organization and monitoring the user activities can be tedious and building manual patterns or rule sets will lead to inaccuracy of results. Machine learning can assist in discovering the anomaly pattern from the trained dataset and reduce false positives. This can be helpful in uncovering attacks or any malware spread across the organization. Also will bring down mean time to response from days to minutes. This will follow three steps. First, prepare the dataset by providing the inputs. Second, train the dataset from the input specified. Finally, schedule a job to check if there are any anomalies with the events that are received. Now, I am logged into the Fortisim console. Let's navigate to analytics page and select machine learning. Underneath, click the folder button to view the various types of machine learning jobs with the job IDs. I'm going to select the bipartite graph edge anomaly job to prepare the dataset. Once you click that job, it will take you to the prepare page. You can select the time frame according to your needs, like days, hours, and specific time frame. I am going to select the default setting, which is two days of data, and click run to prepare the data set. Now you see that the data set populated on the screen. Click train. Now we are in the train page. You notice that run mode selected as local. That means the machine learning framework can run on the local database. Task selected as anomaly detection. Algorithm set as bipartite edge anomaly. Data field set to analyze user reporting device and count of patched events. Once we have all the information filled, select tune and train. Here, we need to supply the right details to the algorithm to work correctly. The threshold value depends on how severe or strict the security analyst wants to set the algorithm to work. If the score is below the threshold value, can be considered as anomaly. If they want to detect even small amount of pattern detection, they can choose it to be a value close to 1, like 0.9. If they want to just detect extremely suspicious, and out of the pattern login, they can go close to 0 like 0 0.01. For any in-between scenario, they can choose a number close to 0 0.5. Now, the dataset have been trained and chose the output of trained data. This is how built-in machine learning model helps in simplifying the complexity involved in the anomaly detection process. Once I click show only anomalies, it will bring up the details with the user, device, count, and score. In the below graphical view, the algorithm determines the anomaly, which will always be between HA and HB, the other edges indicating the relationship between the users and workstation. Here, user DW4 connects to EC2 workstation, considered as anomaly. In the final phase, we'll schedule this machine learning job to run, along with the inputs provided during the training phase. This will help to trigger an incident if any user-to-device logon anomaly detected. 
with this trained model. Click save to get effect on the system. We'll view this running ML job in the resource section with the summary details. This is how the machine learning framework provides the benefit of mean time to detect and reduce the mean time to response. Thanks for watching.